everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I'm bringing you another LEGO Overwatch review. So today I have set number 75976, Wrecking Ball. This set includes 227 pieces and retails for $19.99 in the US. I got this set a while back at my local Walmart. I did get it a little bit early before the release date of October 2nd, but I am bringing this review a little bit later than I would have if I did review it back then. Otherwise, looking at the box art right here, we have the normal Overwatch box art right here, Lego Overwatch right there at the top with Tracer in the corner, very nice, the Blizzard logo at the bottom. We also get some other features on the side, which I think is very nice. You also get the main picture of the set right there with a sort of Overwatchy background and the normal stuff off the side. Otherwise, like all the other Overwatch box art, you do get another different side of the front right here on the back right here, which is sort of like a more action shot right there with the name of the character and also the normal stuff off the side right there without the tracer up there in the corner. I think that that's very nice and also this is the second wave of LEGO Overwatch sets to ever release in October compared to in January which I have reviewed two other sets from the LEGO Overwatch theme which like I said inside those videos I still don't really know too much about LEGO Overwatch so don't criticize me on my knowledge of that. I'm mainly looking at the building type and also like the overall styling of everything which looks very interesting and I really like the sand green in there like I mentioned in a lot of my other videos. Otherwise taking a look at the top of the box we have the LEGO and Overwatch logo set number, LEGO life advertisement and the actual size of that teeny tiny little hamster right there which I think is pretty nice. You get the sides of the box with the LEGO and Overwatch logo and the actual Overwatch logo right there. And then we have the other side with your character right there, very nice to get that, and the LEGO logo right there at the top. And then finally that does bring you all the way to the bottom of the box with the LEGO and Overwatch logo set number and then our LEGO trademarks and the barcode for the set. This set should be widely available as of this time since it came out back on October 1st. Otherwise, yeah, let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here is everything that we got within the set right here. We do get two numbered bags, that being bag number one and bag number two to build up this set. We also get a loose sticker sheet right here that you use upon the model. Very nice to get that. Just some extra little details. And then of course we do get an instruction manual within the set. You get the QR code off the side to get the instructions off the LEGO Life app. Pretty much mimics the box are right there for the front. We have the win robot on the back. We have the piece count for two pages right there. We keep moving forward. I don't think we have any advertisements for any of the other sets. We do get one advertisement right there for the other set that released alongside this one. There will be another wave of Overwatch stuff, I believe, in January 2020, so you guys can look forward to that if you're a fan of Overwatch. Otherwise, I don't really have any plans of getting the other set. I mean, I do think the minifigures in there look pretty cool, but I don't really have any plans since that is a rather expensive set. And then we have one other little LEGO Life advertisement leading all the way to the final overall model for this particular set. So yeah, that's pretty much all for the instructions and everything. So yeah, let's open up these bags and build up this set.
Okay, so here is the final overall model for the Wrecking Ball set right here, which this is a very interesting set. One thing that I just want to say right off the bat is, you know, I know I've been saying this previously, but the sand green is really the reason why I bought this set, you know, since I don't really know too much about Overwatch, you know, and I, I also bought it because of like the little hamster character, you know, it, it just looked like a very interesting set. One thing to note is that there are a lot of different play features and you can do a lot of different poses with this particular set, you know, which is something very interesting, you know, it, it, it's just a very interesting set and we'll get right into that in a little bit. But before we take a look at the overall model, we do get some extra pieces over here. So here are all of the extra pieces that we get within this particular set. Nothing really too special, no printed pieces or whatnot, and that's really all that I have to say for those. So yeah, I can just get those right out of the way. So here is the little wrecking ball ball version right here. So this is when it's all folded up completely in its entirety you know you can right away spot like some of the printed pieces like this giant dish piece right here which I mean that's just crazy that they give you this giant printed dish piece right here within the set you know I, I really like that you know for for licensed themes you know they should have giant printed pieces which you know that's something that I just applaud this set for right there. Though we do get some stickers to add some more detail, you know, we do get some printed pieces, you know, we do get another printed piece right here inside this sand green color as well. Very nice to get that right there, just like an overall like shaping right there for the front of it. We get a sticker right here on this 1x2 cheese slope. We also get some stickers on these other slopish pieces towards the side right here in dark gray. Two different stickers right there. That one says ham. I don't know why it says ham, but you know, very interesting nevertheless. There's a look at the bottom of the vehicle right there. Just an overall look. Really love that dish piece inside that sand green color. Just something very interesting overall. And then that does bring us all the way back here, which you know, another really cool thing to note is that if you do take off this dish piece right here, you can see that there is more printing like underneath that, which is also just another really cool thing to point out right there. If I can just get that right back on there. Very cool to see that. And that does bring us all the way to the front. So now in order to just to get this thing going, we can just put this down right here, you know, this part right here, this is just like another little stabilization sort of thing going on. Very interesting build, don't know why they put that there, but you know, it looks very nice. I also really like the use of the different handle pieces throughout, just to like add a little bit of detail, like these yellow ones right here, those are pretty cool to see. First of all, we might as well take off this dish piece right here, which also has one of these pyramid pieces right here on top of it inside that light gray color, which we do get an extra one of, which, you know, that's a really cool piece to get within the set. Very cool to get an extra one of those. We have one sticker on this Technic piece right here, this circle piece, which is very interesting. You know, I didn't apply it entirely correctly, but you know, this is like just something weird. I don't know why they have that there, but you know, you take that off in order when the rest of the model is completely like assembled for battle and whatnot, which you know, we are going to do that right now. We do get some legs on here, which you know, these are Technic pieces connected by some ball joints, which are the Bionicle ball joints, which is a very nice usage of those. You can just bring them down like such. We have two on each side, you can move them down, and also in that orange color that's very nice to add a little bit more pop within the sand green that we get. We also get a lot of detailing like in between right there, which is very cool as well. So we do move out this gun over here. We get a gun for each side of the model, which is also very cool. A lot of Technic interior details within this particular set which is also very interesting to see just put these down like such and then these we can just leave where they are i believe and that is how you get this little vehicle ready for battle right there there's an overall look at it with all of its fold outs except for the very top where we do have our character within the cockpit area very interesting to see these types of guns. Very cool how they are made. I really like how they just like fold up and everything within the entirety of the vehicle. And also, you know, you can move them back and forth like that if you do want to like shoot different areas, which is very interesting. And it does go like back and forth a little bit if you want it to, like just to change positions. Really love that. 
You can also reposition like the feet if you want them to, and also those sand grain pieces, you know, those are really nice. You get some detailing inside there as well, which is very nice. You can see a little bit of minor detail just like right down in the bottom right there. And then that does finally bring us all the way to the very top right here. So if we do lift up this little cockpit area, which you know that is of course connected by a clip piece, can lift that up. And we do get two more stickers over here you can see that are on these curved tile pieces in black. Very, very cool to get those black curved tile pieces. Those are very nice. And then that does bring us to the play feature right here. You can see that we do get this little orange area right here which, you know, that is a Technic piece. You can just lift that like such, and then that does bring up your little character of Wrecking Ball. That is really cool to see that you can just lift that up. It's like a little mini elevator within there, you know? I just think that's very cute and everything. So yeah, let's take a quick look at our character of Wrecking Ball. I'm just gonna take him out of there. Okay, so here is our miniature version of Wrecking Ball that comes within the Wrecking Ball vehicle right there, which is very cool. Really love the detailing on this character. I don't really know if it's dual molded or not with the dark gray backpack and stuff going on on this character, but it's definitely a lot of printing, which, you know, LEGO did put a lot of work into this character. This is an entirely new mold exclusive to the Overwatch theme. I wonder if they're ever going to use it on anything else. You know, that's just one thing that came to my mind right here when I saw this. You know, it's just something very weird and obscure. You know, they have been making a lot of really cool new molds and a lot of really cool new colors and everything for the Overwatch theme, which, you know, I definitely applaud on, like, even, like, the use of, like, a lot of the new printed pieces that they put into the theme. You know, they definitely put a very high budget into the Overwatch theme, you know, and I I just think it's very nicely done, you know, though I'm not like an Overwatch fan, you know, these characters and like all the stuff that they've been doing for this particular theme, you know, I think a lot of like Overwatch fans have been a huge fan of and, you know, it's just something very nice. So yeah, that's pretty much all for our little character right here. Placing him right back into the cockpit right here, you can see that we do get a 2x2 two two circular jumper plate piece right there, which is pretty nice to get. You can just toss your character right there on the stud. And then, of course, we do have that little lever area that you can just sneak him right back down there into the vehicle. And then you can just push him down if it doesn't go all the way. And then that just hides your character. And then you can close this up and then it's completely closed and you have your character within the overall vehicle. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I really had to say for this particular set. You know, there are a lot of really cool play features for the particular set, you know. I really like how it's like a model that like you, you start off as like this big vehicle right here and then you can like fold it up to make it a ball and you know, it's even funny because it's like a hamster that's driving it so you know. Yeah, having no, like, thought or, like, knowing a lot about Overwatch, you know, th this is just a really good set, and for $20, I think it's well worth it, even with, like, the sand green colors that you get. A lot of very nice, interesting pieces overall spread throughout this particular set. So, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So, yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!